Welcome everybody to so many games for a little time. My name is Joachim as usual and this time I didn't get my Kickstarter through Kickstarter but I ordered it at a local game store so they got the Kickstarter in for Merchant Scove of course. I took it home and I did not expect this amount of boxes but here they are. So uh, let's start with the base game and then we'll do all the well I guess expansions. And I can already tell you that this, the secret stash, is supposed to fit in the base game. But these three will not, normally speaking. But I guess we'll find out, right? And of course, this packet of card, I imagine, cards, I imagine these will fit in the box. And I can also say, if everything is sleeved, the other three definitely won't be able to get in. If you don't sleeve, maybe you'll be able to force some stuff in, but that's it. Okay, let's take a look at the base game. And uh, that way you don't have to see all the mess because I just moved. All right, so this is the base game. Merchant's Gove, or the box at least. The Pearl of the Five Realms by Final Frontier Games. Game from a uh, game by Carl van Ostrand with Johnny Pack and Drake Villarreal. Art by The Miko. I love The Miko's art. Always have. Um, I have... Um, Valeria, what's the full name of the game again? Uh, well, there's so many variations of Valeria. And of course, I'm looking at my boxes and I can't see it. I have Villages of Valeria, but I don't have that. It's the other one that I have. <laughs> no, I'm not going to cut this out. Anyway, uh, also Palio Americans. Oh my god, I'm losing all my uh, stuff now. But I'm not going to edit it, okay? Screw it. It just shows that my... Uh, another proof that my memory is horrible. Uh, I'll uh, put some stuff next to my head saying... Uh, next to the box saying what... Saying the titles that I'm actually looking for. Anyway, love the guy's art. Um, let's take a look at the sides of the box. So, Merchant's Cove. 14 plus, 60 to 90 minutes, 1 to 4. I love the fact there's a solo option. All right, some more art. It's basically all the same. So the back of the box looks like this. All right, there we go. I'm not gonna read it out now, it's too much. If it's shorter, then I'll read it out, but otherwise I'm not, I'm not going to. So, all right, let's open it up. Okay, here we go. Will there be art on the inside? I'm gonna say no. Okay, spoiler alert, I already felt this, and then you know there's no art on the inside. There never is. Okay, I have some stuff here. I'll take out the supports first. Although I like to include this. It prevents damage. Okay, this is really loud. So many games, so little time, right? So I'm making a video when everyone's asleep. Most of the time that's the case, so... I don't like that this is so loud. Let's just get all of this out. And be gone, loud piece of plastic. All right, so let's see. I have to say, I backed this. I mean, I didn't back this up. I bought it through the local uh, retailer because the shipping was cheaper that way. But I did it. And I forgot all about it. So, like, these things, I don't know what the unlocks were and whatever. I think these are just, you know, extra tiles. So, I think most people are already used to me, me not knowing anything <laughs> what I'm opening. Or at least have a faint idea. I mean, I know what the game is about and everything, but details, what has been unlocked and whatever. The captain. Alright, that's pretty short. Alright. The peddler. So the pillar is solo mode, okay. All right. The blacksmith. So these are just jobs. Like for example, the captain, you'll be uh, going on the seas looking for treasure. The blacksmith, of course, you work with fire and metal and you have hot furnaces. This is how your store works. Okay, cool. The alchemist. I read online that uh, some people had a problem with the, the boobies. Now, I don't know if this is the edited version or it was already like that. But, um, so I don't know if these people are still upset or if it was worse before. And the chronomancer. 
and his assistant. I, I, I really like this, this one for sure. Really curious in trying this one. All right, so this is basically how you're supposed to put it in the insert, which I love. Really nice. And even you used pretty nice uh, material to make this. And the gems and everything, where everything is supposed to go. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't expect this, but love it all the same. All right, cool. This is the board. Now, the board I'm going to set up later, uh, and then you'll get a nice view. I mean, set up later. I'll show you now. One, two, three. Boom. Okay, so this main board is huge. All right, so to show you, this is my table. It tends to be pretty large as it is, I think, I feel. So, uh, yeah. It is a really big main board, but I guess someone can have their store there, maybe here, although maybe a little bit cramped, and then here and there. So I could play with four players, but five players, I cannot play this. I would not have the space, I believe. But it looks really nice, right? The board looks really, really cool. Okay, so there's only one side, only one side. Okay, let's move on uh, to the rest of the unboxing. Okay, just as I said that the board is, board is one-sided, it's not. This is on the back. So you can see Mergent's Cove, Cavern Tavern, Caveborn. Are these also games they made? I have no idea. But if there's going to be games all over this island, then we're going to be getting a lot of other games and expansions and so on. So I don't know what these two are. I'll do some research. Maybe I'll find out. Maybe I'll put it in the video. Maybe I'll forget. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll be next to the screen now. Who knows? Okay, when I can make the video and how much I remember. All right, so let's go. Let's really move on to the rest of the unboxing now. Okay, so that was the board. And uh, these are the other. Oh, this is the Chronomancers area. Okay. This is the blacksmith, I imagine. Also looks nice. Don't know what this is. I'm holding it upside down. Maybe this is just uh, where the customers are. I imagine this is the captain sailing around looking for treasure. And this is probably the alchemist. Yeah. All right. Okay, 3D punch board assembly instructions. Now, like I said, so many games, so little time, right? I don't have much time. If I'm able to assemble them, I'll add them to the video. If not, uh, well, then not, we'll see. But it's good that it's here, obviously. It'll make it easier later. And then the rule book. So you can see this is the main board. You know, you'll see it later, how big it is. Okay, rule book looks nice. You know, colorful, vibrant. Okay, and not too big. So it looks like it's not that complicated to play, maybe. Because I know who you don't have to know how other people's stores work, but of course, if you are the person who is explaining the game, you do need to know how every store works, otherwise you can't explain it to them. I guess you could just give them the little booklet, I guess. Well, it's not really a book, but anyway, not really a booklet, but, you know, as a, as a host, you want to help them, not just say, here, you know, you do it yourself. These are some nice gems, okay. Of course, you always have, like, the cut off a little bit, where right? it's wider, but, yeah, don't really mind that. This is for the standees. So I'm not going to take this out, they're just all the tons and tons and tons of standees. These are some tokens, I guess, also for the different jobs and everything. No idea what this is supposed to be. Oh, it's a mouse. A mouse, some money bags, some time. Apparently this game has an original time mechanic, but once again, I don't know what. I just read it online. Also, uh, initially, they did not have an insert, but then they did create one, the one that you see here now. And, uh, but yeah, 
like I mentioned before, not every expansion fits in it. Otherwise, the game, the box would of course be bigger. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Cool. Nice bags. Let's put them back in here. You can easily take it out, which is also nice, of course, because it makes it easier for when you're actually playing. All right. These are punch out boards. Well, punch boards. Punch out boards. I'm not gonna start a punching and boxing match with them. Punch them out. Although I think I'll win. Anyway. So, here we go. Actually, these things I'll throw them back. Figure them out later. Yeah, it all looks really nice. I mean, once it's all folded and set up, I think it'll be very impressive. This reminds me a lot of uh, Heroes of Land, Air and Sea, to be honest. You know, the ships and everything and the folding stuff. Okay. Printed meeples. Let's take a look. They seem to all look different. Okay, so the colors are the same. So I think I should just make sure to get not as many yellows. But some red ones, because I don't have red. The red is the only color I'm missing. Okay, one of each. So this is what they all look like. Since some printed ones are printed better than others, but you know, I guess that's what you're gonna have with printed stuff. Okay, cool. These look nice. These look nice. And then I like how there were minis printed on this on the back of the. Oh wait, I could be wrong. I'm gonna stop. No. So I like how there were minis printed on the back of the box and then they're like really tiny. <laughs> I mean in times like these, minis tend to be bigger, right? But I'll uh, zoom in on these now, uh, closer up with my phone. So uh, one, two, three, go! Okay, so here are the minis. This is the first one. Like I said, they are tiny, alright? go. Second one. I understand why they're not big though, because this game already has so many components. So, I don't know. Having it even bigger, having the minis bigger means less space in the box, so... I'm already surprised they did minis. They might as well just take in, uh, a printed meeple, you know. The Alchemist. Uh. The Captain. Captain with the treasure chest. Super duper long hair. And the tail. Okay, and then there's also four ships. I'm only going to show you one. Alright. But it's just that small, it's difficult to see. Well, you got a close up of my fingers. Yay. Okay, that's it. Let's go back to the unboxing. All right, so those were the minis. Let's continue. We have some dice. I'm not gonna take them out. They're regular dice. Nothing too special about them. You know, just dice. Um, this is a piece. Uh-huh for the uh, captain, I imagine. Cool. Also can take it out, all of it. 
I love these. Ooh, I love these. I think that goes with the uh, Alchemist, probably. But these look so nice. Wow, look at these. So shiny. Nice. Okay, my daughter cannot see this. Well, none of my daughters. I mean, one of my daughters is only seven months. She definitely can't because she'll eat it. But the other one's three. So uh, if she sees this, she's going to be in love. So uh, she cannot see this. Although I should find out where I can buy it and then give it to her. She'll love it. Okay, so let's check out these cards first. Dragon Island Festival, it says. Or maybe there's just one card. It's a module, yeah. It allows you to place known adventurers onto boats instead of blindly drawing them. As long as you're willing to pay a small price. So like I said, the Miko art. Absolutely love it. Because <laughs> it's cool. If I ever make a game, I would really, really want him to do the art. Yeah. But then will I ever make a game? Ha. Ah. Okay. So that's the Dragon Island Festival. I feel like they should have called it a Dragon Boat Festival. I live in Hong Kong. So we have a Dragon Boat Festival. Okay, I'm going to open these cards. Let's see what they are. Okay, so we have a bunch of cards. We have this deck. Put it here for a second. This deck. Put it here for a second. And this deck. So we'll go through each deck. We're going through the deck purely for the arts, okay? I'm not going to read out everything. So this is just, well, double-sided. So <laughs> this is all the same. All right, well, that was it. Oh, no, no, it's not all the same. At one point, they change a little bit, like here. Of course, art-wise, not very exhilarating. All right. Yep. And this one. I wonder if this also has to do with the uh, captain. I need to be holding it upside down. Or maybe not the chronomancer, maybe. I don't know. This looks more like I don't know. Okay, I just don't know. These might be the customers. Maybe they are. Again, I love the art. What's going on with him? Yeah, I love the art once again. So nice. Dude always knocks it out of the park. Yeah. All right, very, very, very nice. Okay, this was the uh, the base game. So I'm going to move on to the expansions. Okay, next up is this pack of cards. Uh, the Backer Built Rogue Pack. All right, so this is what it says. It's a little bit sticky on the side. Let's open this up. Okay, so I guess these are row cards then. Ooh, wow, colorful. Nice. Oh, and then three where you can do your own stuff. I always throw these away. I mean, this it's especially like with the game I've already seen and what I've heard. This has so much stuff in it that why why would you? I mean, I guess you can always do it if you're passionate. I'm not going to judge anyone. All right, next is the Merchant's Cove, the Innkeeper. All right. So once again, same people. I'm not going to go over that. Look at the back of the box. Is this one. Okay. So I would, I'm going to re re reiterate that the this will not fit in the base box. Okay. So only the secret stash will fit in there. This will not. So let's take a look. Before we continue, I would also like to point out that this now says one to five. So um, I think every expansion says that. And as if I remember correctly, the base game just said one to four. So the expansions allow you to just move it up to five. All right. So let's see what's in the innkeeper's box. So of course you have, oh, shocking, the innkeeper. 
There you go. And this is the first time that I'm noticing this. Maybe it was there before, but the uh, things that we saw in the base box in the beginning, they're all like this. So yeah. All right. So we have the board here and keeper actions and so on. Uh, the sail shelf and the beds. I, I really like the beds. That so you can uh, create those beds and everything. The big table. All right, all the other stuff, the drinks, the little tiny beds. You can put the meeples on, you know. This is the innkeeper board. They're already fighting, always good. Reminds me a little, a little bit of Taverns of Tiefenthal because, you know, taverns. This card is just in there loose. It's a bit dangerous, could have been damaged, but it survived well. Uh, it only comes with one. So maybe that's why there were others, so you have more variety. So, four more guys, but I guess that's because it's the expansion, right? Uh, for an extra player. A lot of standees, again. And then this one, which I guess will be the Innkeeper Mini. Yes, it is. Look at him. Looking mad in ass. All right, another one to add to my backlog of minis that I have to paint. All right, so here we go. That was the innkeeper. It's pretty short and sweet, right? So put all this away. Here we go. Next is the Oracle, all right? And it looks like this. And with this one, you get to use a marker. Awesome. All right, so let's take a look. So here we go. Wow, the Oracle. She looks pretty cool. <laughs> and... This is actually thicker because it has more pages. So does this mean that it's more uh, complicated? Could be. Could be. Has more pages, more explanations. All right. She can do horoscopes, apparently. She can do divination. And there's also star charting that she can do. Nice. All right. So the divining dish and the sail shelf have to be assembled not to be uh, confused with the uh, Avengers ha, ha, ha. all right so this is her shop pretty cool looks like a roll and write really looks like a roll and write but uh, of course yeah I guess that's what it is right because you have you get this and line uh, surprise surprise also dice so you get some bones well, one bone and get one of these you get her card also losing the box so i think even though these expansions can't go in the base box you can just put all of the expansions in one box so you end up with two boxes okay yep. and then her mini is in my hand i'm looking for something that's in my hand amazing Here she is. In her little bag. Nice minis, you know, they're, they're small, but for being small, they're still pretty detailed. Okay. Up. Back in the box you go. And then. After the Oracle is the Dragon Rancher. Funny thing, uh, when I ordered the game, let's put it back first, this is what it looks like. When I ordered the game from the retailer, um, he asked me if I wanted to have the Dragon Rancher. I said, no, the game already has enough, never mind. And then, of course, when it arrived yesterday, I saw the pictures and I was like, oh, do you still have a copy? And he was like, yes, I do. So here I am with the Dragon Rancher. Ran it was Ranger Rancher. Ugh, there we go. Come on, open up. 
sesame. All right, so also a sail shelf, and that is actually it. She only has a sail shelf. The Dragon Rancher is the hottest steeds in demand. And you, Dwama Drake Tooth, have the market cornered. Okay, so basically you have like a, a little dragon farm, seems like. Okay. All right, cool. These are the punch outs, trees and everything, and of course dragons. This is the actual ranch. It's a dragon egg. Okay, standees, as usual, so many standees in this game. Let's take this out. What are these dragon eggs or something? You have them in every color. They're pretty cool. I don't know if they're dragon eggs or not. I guess not. Maybe there's a bit too many eggs. A card. And then more dragons. Okay. Another nice bag. These bags are really nice quality. I, I, I can't emphasize it enough. Really, really nice bags. Oh, a dragon is out on an adventure. Up. Up. And then the mini. Here we go. This is the rancher with the egg. Cool. Nice. All right. Back in the box you go. I'll try to figure it out all later. Maybe I'll do either an extra video to get it all boxed up and, and assembled. Or maybe I'll just put it at the end of this video. I guess you'll notice, right? Okay. And the final box, the secret stash. All right. So uh, I think these just add stuff to everything else. So we'll see. So I would like to reiterate once again, this fits in the base box, okay? All of these items should fit in there. So at least there's that. The secret stash, okay, contains a treasure trove of goodies that will enhance your experience while visiting Merchant's Cove. It's modular, meaning you can mix and match different parts of its suit to suit the unique tastes of your gaming group. For those playing solo, there are also challenges to increase the difficulty of the basic solo mode, nice, and scenarios which offer thematically charged content supported by unique mechanics. So we have the row cards, new corruption cards, pirates, kraken, ghost sailors, and so on. Townsfolk set, sorry, like this. Townsfolk sets, uh, Grey Rogue Goods New Boats, The Halls of Plenty, Lair of Villainy, Dragon Island Festival, which is just a board, Faction Leaders, Challenge Cards, all right, nice, and then a very sad pig man. Okay, and then Dearest Finestra, around the clock, not once but twice, don't forget to pet the mice. Okay, the oracle. No idea what that means. Okay, so solo scenarios, and this is thick. Whoa. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Wow, twelve scenarios. So cool. That is really nice. Reminds me uh, of uh, Monster, 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 what is it again? It's not Monster Island. Is it Monster Island? I don't know. I'll put the, <laughs> the name next to my head because I've forgotten. Once again, one of my games that I really like, I keep forgetting the names. So annoying. I think it's Monster Island. Anyway, they also have like a huge bunch of solo scenarios. The game has anyway. The boats, how to do it. Okay. This is one of the boats. 
I like the, the dragon head here. Skull. Alright. Oh, that already fell out. Okay. And I guess these are the meeples they spoke about. There you go. Okay, let's take a look at this deck of cards. Okay, so these are the backs. Once again, these are customers, right? So I'll put these to the side. And then these and these. Let's start with these. All right. All with different colors and so on. Okay, let's check out these. Okay, that has more variety, apparently, so that's always nice. And then we have this, which are, of course, the customers again. You can see some <laughs> cool new people. Wow, this is the Lady Lady Gaga style or whatever. Okay. Very nice as usual. Okay, all right, nice with the piggy, <laughs> all right, almost done here, okay, okay, super duper happy, wow, this is cool, all right, only two more things to go. Let's open this deck of cards. Let's do this first. There's just doors or slabs. Okay, let's open this deck of cards. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. There's the backs, and then we have these. All right. They're all roughly similar. And then the other side of these. Wow, nice. Very nice art as usual. All right, so that concludes the unboxing of basically, well, everything. <laughs> um, there's a whole lot of stuff to go through here. A whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of work ahead of me to get everything in the boxes and so on, get everything sorted, sleeved, and so on. So, um, I don't know, time will tell whether or not I can, uh, what is all added in this video. Now, maybe I should have known, but inside the secret stash, when you remove this, there's a secret stash. There's this. There's this. This card. So basically, it's another store, or what? It also has a QR code. Now we'll check out what the QR code does exactly. So the QR code gets you a print-friendly version of the thief. So I'm really happy I didn't throw this box out yet, because I was really about to throw it out. But so someone can play the thief, I guess. Pretty awesome.
Nice.